In this video today, I wanted to share with you the one thing that's stopping you from making sales in online marketing. And that thing is a very simple formula, something that's missing from your equation. That is the eight to 15 contacts rule. Now, I'm not talking about 15 people. I'm talking about contacts with one single person. So Salesforce, which is the biggest company for sales CRM in the world, basically did a statistic a few years ago and found that roughly 80% of all sales close after the salesperson has contacted the lead for eight or seven, I'm not sure which one, but it's eight or seven to 15 times since the beginning of that leads cycle. Most salespeople, 80% roughly of salespeople give up after just two to three attempts, which is pretty sad. So you're basically leaving most of your sales on the floor by missing those seven, eight to 15 opportunities to contact your lead, to get them thinking about you. And they also say that a person needs to hear about your product for seven to 15 times just to think of you, just to, to have you in mind to even contact you in the first place. So. How do you actually bridge this gap? How do you actually get to a point where you uh, get a lead and you maximize the uh, ability to close them? So I'll give you an example. In Israel, we have a holiday now called Purim. And Purim is basically uh, like uh, Halloween. People dress up in costumes. There's really, really good sales. Uh, but instead of being about like uh, scary stuff, Halloween is more just about festivities and costumes. So the company that I'm affiliated with, which does uh, self-development seminars in Israel, uh, we decided to put out uh, about 40% off of all products. So the idea is people couldn't get the products because they were too expensive. So we made the digital products much, much cheaper. Now, what we did, like most businesses, is send off an email. So telling people about this uh, very, very cool sale. And what happened was we got a few sales. So we got about $1,000 in revenue. Now, that's what most people do. They basically send out an email and that's where it ends. We didn't end there. Then we sent out an SMS, which means a message to people. That was not enough. We went to WhatsApp and we shared the message in all of our groups. And also I asked the guy who's in charge of digital support for the courses, the online courses, to message every single person that contacted him in the last two months and tell them about this great, great deal. So that's not enough. What I also did was make a video with the owner talking about this deal and then go to Facebook with advertising so not just upload to facebook but upload it with monetization and also on youtube but we didn't just do that we also asked for people who are fans friends customers to share this to basically stoke the flames that's not all i also asked the ceo there's the owner there's the ceo to also make another video and to talk to all the loyal customers and ask them to share it. So customer referrals. Sorry for the English. So that's another thing we did. But then that wasn't enough. So we sent another email. So two SMS messages, sorry, another SMS. And then we sent an extra three emails about this. 
Now, what's the point of this whole thing I'm saying? And by the way, we did even more than that. What, what's, what's the whole point of talking about this? The point of talking about this is that at the end of this sale, we ended up generating over $20,000 of revenue from just a day and a half of pushing this out there. Now, does this cost money? A bit. Does this cost money? A bit. Did the advertising cost money? A bit. But at the end of the day, we maybe spent $1,000 to make 20,000 in profit. Now, again, what is the whole story behind this? Why am I trying to tell you this? Because people complained. People said, you're messaging us too much. It's okay. We know about this. But if you're not getting complaints, if people are not saying, okay, I get the message, you're not hitting people deep enough. What happens is you send out an email. Most people don't even open it. You send out a message. People forget about it. You send a WhatsApp. People just forget about it. You send a video. People watch just 10 seconds of it. What you want to do is overflow people with contacts. And then what happened was we maximized those 8 to 15 uh, contacts. Also, even the salespeople told people about this sale. And what happened was people kind of uh, popped. Imagine that people are basically like these different balloons that each need a different amount of interactions to close based on how relevant they are, based on their personality. And what happens is, there's first of all, there's the low-hanging fruits. So what happens is you send out an email, like just one message, and immediately pop, pop, to go. But then you get the, the, also the SMS, and then another one goes. And then you get the WhatsApp, and another one, and another one. But then what happens is most people miss the people at the top, the people that are right up here, the busy people, the people with the actual money, because people with money have a lot less time. So these people you miss. So you sent out like this many interactions and you basically hit the low hanging fruits, the weak customers or the ones that are already bought in. And that means you're not growing your business. But by hitting people up to 15 times, you can basically start popping the higher balloons of the people that are busy. The, and there's many, many different opportunities. Before the holiday, we sent out, there is going to be a Purim deal. And then during the holiday, we sent out, before you go out to party, check out this deal. And then during the partying in the evening, we sent out, are you not partying? You should do this instead and get the deal. And then after the partying, we sent out, I hope you had a really good party. Now it's time for the deal. And what happened is we popped all the balloons. So basically maximized the opportunity by overloading people and making sure that nobody gets missed. Now, how do you avoid a situation where people get pissed on you, about you? Very simple. Do not message the people that have already bought. So just make sure that people who already bought it are not getting the same types of communications because that could get annoying. But if somebody did not buy, if you do have a good deal that you want people to get, you think it's really a good deal, it would be immoral of you to not let people know about that deal and not make enough effort, not put out enough action, enough activity to make those people make a decision. If you've only made enough decision, enough of a commitment to just send out just one single email, how much enthusiasm do you think you're going to get from those people? The good things in life, everything that, that takes effort, you have to work for it. You have to invest. You have to actually put out an effort. You have to show that you care. So it's not enough to just send an email and expect them to come to you. You need to come to them in many, many different ways. You need to follow up, follow up in as many different ways as you can, as many different platforms and also as many different senses. So, sorry, auditory, emails, visual, you want to go for the statistics, more like the brain, emotional, make a video, put out a, vi a, a long video to basically get them invested. You want to make as many different attacks until you hit your targets. If you do not reach your targets, this is something I learned from Grant Cardone, by the way. If you do not reach your targets, the only reason you did not reach your target is not because uh, the target was too high. It's because your activity was lacking. So even if you do actions that are not very efficient, that have low efficiency, those are not the best actions you can take. 
but you take enough of these actions, you're gonna end up making progress. You're gonna break that wall. Let's say that there's a wall here and I wanna break it, and the best way to do it is obviously with a bulldozer. It's just to run it over and then there's no wall. But then let's say that I have a hammer. A hammer is much less efficient, but will still do the job if you pound it enough. Let's say that I don't even have a hammer. All I have is a freaking table, a few chairs, and maybe some boxes. Well, in that case, I can still break it, but I have to hit it many, many more times. So the only reason you won't hit your goals is because of lack of activity. It's meaning that if you have a certain target, you wanna always keep increasing the activity until you hit your targets. Never lower the goal. So this is the lesson for today. Just to summarize, you wanna hit people between eight to 15 times. If you wanna maximize the amount of sales you're getting, even more than that, by the way, this is just a, uh, an average guideline. And by doing that, you hit the high level of people, the people that actually have the money, the people that are actually busy, the people that are not yet persuaded because those will be your new favorite clients. Persistence pays off. And again, if you see that you're not hitting your targets, increase the activity. Don't stop, think later. It's too late because you've already started, you already have the target. Now it's time for actions to increase your activity until you hit your target. That is all you need to do. Hope this video helped you. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and like it. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to help. See you soon.